вечер Гаснет небо осеннее Если грусть не поддельная Если верить не в мочь Опять взгляни на звезды Их сияющие росы Только для тебя Ветер Улетает за горизонт Приглашает тебя в полет Если счастье устало ждать Оставь сомнения Все на свете направления Только для тебя Лови мгновенье Ты Летишь так высоко, станет на сердце легко, а порой вечерний не засыпай душа моя, если ты мечтаешь летать. Лилия, I'm not happy with you. Why hasn't the contract with the power engineers been closed yet? Andrei Nikolaevich. The main positions are closed. Only small details remained. And I'm not interested in transmitting reports from the battlefield. I need a result. Well, they wrapped up the layout once again. Lyosha, what's there? Chief, they don't know what they want. Well, what about you? Well, offer them what they want and prove that they want exactly what you offer. Should I teach you, or what? So I give you three days to sign the contract. I see. Write it down. What about you? I have everything on schedule. Everything is fine, as always. I'm glad to hear that at least someone has no problems. Anna Albertovna, as you know, I am pleased to hear because this does not apply to accounting in the finance department at all. Because you have problems through the roof. Are you sure? In my opinion, there are no problems in my household. We have had a catastrophic drop in contract profits over the past three months. This is with your complete indifference. If you don't see problems, I see them. This mess needs to be eliminated. Go and work. Anna Albertovna, I'm asking you to stay. Let's go out tonight, have dinner, and then to you or to me. That's after everything you've done to me here, right? He practically wiped his feet on me. I'm like a dray nag. I'll make a joke on you all the transportation, and you accuse me that I'm not working well. Listen, maybe if you have no complaints, just where is Dengo? Maybe you'll spend the evening with him tonight? Maybe even unsuccessful, but what if you like it, eh? I'm. And I'll go fix the flaws. Al, well, you're wrong. What? Another fight? And it's impossible to say a word. Immediately into hysterics. And he doesn't see any shores at all. Well, what have I done? Well, I just made a remark about work. And she arranged a whole obstruction. It's been two years, two years. That's where I have it. Well, let's say that it is necessary. It is clear. But why do you need it? I've always said, where you work, don't live. Where you live, don't work. There will be no conflicts. And you need a simpler woman. No quirks and these. Career ambitions. Or can't you? Mika, I can do anything, understand. Yes, I have. Yes, if I whistle, anyone will come running. Yes, the first counter. Yes, I bet. 
there's at least this. Where is she rushing to? Slow down. Be careful. Andruka. In the process, we shot down a man. Not us. But you. Come on. What are you sitting for? Get out before the cops arrive. Alive? Petrovich, she seems to be alive. Let's get her in the car. Okay, be careful. Let's go, let's go, hurry up. Well, how is she? Come on, let's go before it's too late. Where to? To the hospital. It's a little early for the morgue. Who are you? Let me out. Open the door, I said. Uncles, let me out. I won't say anything to anyone, honestly. Well, thank God, he's yelling, he's alive to know. But it's already good, well, are your arms and legs intact? It seems so. Open the door. Come on. Tell us the address, we'll take you home and that's it. You won't take me, I'm not a local. Not local, and then you throw yourself under cars, stagger. At night, was she going to the train station? So the train station is in the other direction. Where I didn't go, I just went. I came to perform for the third time, I failed again. They threw me out of the dorm. And the preparatory ones are only in a month. Go home. I can't. They'll laugh. And there is no money for a return ticket either. And Aunt Duzia, what do I say? She spent all her last money on me. Well, what are you going to do? Let me out. Come on, stop forgetting, since this is our joint. We need to help. Yes, Petrovich, yeah. And the preparatory ones? So, this is still a solvable issue. Petrovich, come on, drop me off at home, and let her spend the night in the office. And tomorrow we'll see how we can help. What's your name? Xenia. Oh, where did you get such a roar on me? From where? From the golden legs. You know, gold knife, I see. Let's do that. You'll spend the night in our office, there's a shower there. And then... We'll buy you new clothes. Xyusha and Zolotanosha. And who is he? A businessman. The owner and manager of the Grant Creative Agency. Did you hear that? Well, how can you not hear it? Your creatives are hanging on every post here. Well, then you should know that such a person will not do anything wrong. Well, I don't know. It's still kind of scary. Listen, I'm not going to persuade you. You don't want to. To hell with you. You can go. No, no, I don't mind. I have nowhere to go anyway. And what to do next? Well, we need a cleaner in the office. Will you work for us? It's still a month before the preparatory ones, isn't it? Well, that's it. Yes, don't twitch, everything will be fine. You'll thank me later. Well, okay. Let's go. Hello everyone. I read your report flawlessly. Hello. Lesh. Yes. Lesh. By the way, a good project. And this. Lil. You just look great. I'm in my room. Andre Nikolievic. Do you remember? We wanted to take that room under the warehouse. Well, and what's the problem? Hello. One more time. And Petrovich put some girl there. Petrovich. What other girl? I'll explain later. Hello. Wait, this. The golden boy.
did you put her there? But this is this girl. Well, the creative had a free office, and I put her there. And anyway, we need a new cleaner in the office. Because, and the old one where, her daughter's baby was born, and she will now work for her grandmother. She is a provincial, she is not spoiled, but we will offer her money, we will help her with preparatory ones. He'll stay here for a week or two, and then we'll see. The main thing is that she does not knock the cop, otherwise we will have problems. That's right, come on, act, Petrovich. Yeah, good, so. Andre, let's go, we have a conversation. Victor Sojevich, did you promise us a room? They promised. But what actually happened? Where to store sketches for materials? We would need to set up a printing house. And a place for the server is also needed. Victor Sergevich, well, you promised to talk to the chief. We need this room badly. I agree. Petrovich handed over Andrei Nikolievich's order to settle a cleaning lady here. And what, do I need a cleaner here? It is needed and much more than any garbage in the warehouse. I'm sorry, please, somehow before we managed without the accommodation of cleaners in the office. Maybe we'll try again. And the server is not some garbage for you. It is our drinker and breadwinner. Nothing, your server will stay in the same place. And the materials are subject to the same. Well, you see, he grasps everything on the fly. Petrovich, listen, are you kidding me? But a stranger, an outsider will live here in the office. Is this normal, in your opinion? Or why are you hitting on me? Did I make that up myself? The command was given. But I agree with Lily. After all, other people's eyes, other people's ears, strangers in our institution, but there was an order from Andrei Nikolievich. If you are interested in my opinion, I am categorically against it. I'm against it too. Guys, no question. So let's get together now and go to the boss and tell him that he is wrong. Well, well, that's it. So you can find a compromise in everything and in the end, this girl does not take up so much space. You can accommodate both her and the warehouse, and your server will fit. However, the working time has already come, and we are still in one eye. Hello. So what happened? Why not at the workplace? Apparently, we like to sleep for a long time. Nothing, we'll wean it, we get it quickly. In general, so, provide the new cleaner with all the necessary equipment and determine the scope of work. Just give her 10 minutes to get herself in order, otherwise the whole office will scare away. Everyone, go. Actually, I'm not your employee yet. I didn't apply. If you don't like it, I can leave. Yes, I like you, I like you. And you have a preparatory one only in a month. And I don't want to go home. And the boss said yesterday that we are solving this issue. Right? Well, then I'll be waiting for you at work in half an hour. Together with the writing of the application. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Join in. And what do you mean? I'm talking about yesterday's scolding you gave me here. What did I do wrong again? But I made a remark to you. Anya, after all, you're at work. I'm talking about something else. You accused me yesterday of something that is your own fault. It's with your submission that we got involved in a price war with the main competitor. And what is the result? And now both companies are in a pre-bankruptcy state. Don't you understand that without this contract of the state order, we simply cannot stand. Who will get this state order depends on who will survive, we or Podianitsyn. I don't understand, are we fighting for the first day? These are temporary difficulties. The situation is much more serious than you imagine. The situation is almost on the verge. Since everything is so serious, I think it is vital for us to pay and we need to do it as soon as possible. Do I have to pay? Yes. Were you born yesterday? Give a bribe. Look, I've thought of everything. I have a great relationship with Vishniak. This is a croup official from the ministry. Talk to him, he will tell you, bring you to the right people. I won't pay anyone. It's not up for discussion. I don't take bribes, I don't give. It's a matter of principle, and you know it. That's it, go and find another way out. Not a fool. If you don't pay, you'll pay the pails. You will remain without pants, with your principles. Let's see who remains a fool. 
Go to work. Look, you'll regret it. Anya. They asked me to supplement it in this. Hello. Viktor Sergevich, something seems to have happened to the customers here. Who is this? Hello. Hello. Sashtanova is the cleaner Ksenia, and it is necessary to show the room and instruct. Take her to the creative, and there's Lyosha. Let him do it. I'll do it for now. Well, yes. Excuse me. A. Gas to failure. I propose new gas tank systems. What kind of focus group is this? Or the entire target audience for fashionable clothes? We have a new cleaning lady. This. By the way, what's your name, girl? Xenia. Get acquainted. This is Hera, this is Vatic. Chronic workaholics, but pathological parasites. A. The one in the corner is blind and deaf mute, this is Toha. Well, well. And how did you manage to make such a mess of everything? There are no people here except us, do you understand? Customers are not allowed here anyway. The authorities, well, our dear Lily gave up on us. And the main thing is the result. The chief never comes in here at all. So there is a free zone of free people here. So, you know what's a free zone. Go take me for an hour, I'll clean up everything here. So, everyone heard. Oh, just the guys, so that everyone is in their places in an hour. So, maybe I can help? And take this one with you. <laughs> That's after everything you've done to me here, right? Is there something wrong with you? Yes, you are primarily your attitude towards me. Listen, I'm not your doll, I have another girl. So be kind. Is it just me? Or are you really setting conditions for me? You know I don't like that. You didn't quite get me right now. What is this? How dare you eavesdrop? Get out of here. You're fired. Anna Albertovna, what does she have to do with it? Zolotanas, you work. Or they'll fire you. Well, stop sulking, well. The situation is complicated, everyone is on edge. Well, let's go somewhere in a couple of weeks, relax, come up with something interesting, okay? Andriush, I won't leave you alone anyway, because you have to pay, it's necessary, you know? I told you, I won't pay anything. And enough on this topic. As they say, the master is the master. Exactly. I'll be a minute. Have you noticed one pattern lately? As soon as we start negotiations with the client, Danitsyn is already aware of the estimated amount of the contract and offers lower prices. From this we make a whole life, we suffer losses. Isn't there a war? Not about that. We have a leak. And she has complete information about everything. Have you thought about that? God forbid, I'm not accusing her of anything. But you know, facts are a straightforward thing. What are the facts? Lilia knows no less. And Lek. And, by the way, Didenko. Should I suspect everyone? This is pure paranoia. Well, as you know. My job is to warn, and draw your own conclusions. I'm tired. Maybe we'll go to your place already? Hello. Hello there. 
Yes, yes, I did, it's okay. Yes, and they gave me a dorm. Of course I will call. Yes. Come on, kiss me, bye. Ksayunchka, why are we sad? And my aunt called me. And I lied again that I entered the institute. I don't know what to do now. To enroll? What else? Easy to say. There is only a paid branch. Where will I get such money? Earn. And if they don't accept me? Well, we need to get them to take it. If you want to achieve something in life, my girl, you need to sleep less and work more. What did you say? We've arrived, I say. Thank you very much. Shall we go? Come on. And, wait. Hello everyone. Hello, Andrei Nikolievich. Have you signed a contract with the power engineers? Of course, you have concluded, you are offended. Father, ram in 10 minutes. All right. Golden boy, how are you? Great, can I ask? Later. Anna Albertovna, come to me, please. Hello, hello. Why without a bathrobe? Why without overalls? Quickly, quickly put on. Ksayashenka, hi there. And, dear, tell me, please, what have you done in our department? What is it? Let's go to the most, I'll show you. I'm just going to put on a robe now. What move? And how to work now? Yes, in general, it's disgusting to sit down at the table. I like it. Cool. Well? Get to work, parasites. And you're nothing. Well done. Will we work together, right? We're going to have a conversation. Where did you enroll? To the journalism faculty. Is that how you write? Well, I wrote notes for a wall newspaper at school. And then she wrote for our city newspaper, too. They even published it once. That's great. Time will tell what else you are capable of. Well done. It's about time. Listen. They say that's where you raked these Aegean stables in the creative, right? <laughs> well done. Well done. So let's talk. I want to ask, what are you, well, going to do with your life? But you can't be a cleaner all your life. I want to enter the journalism faculty. Eh. Become a journalist or a writer. But. Where are your parents? Well, if you don't want to, don't tell me. Well, don't worry. Come on, tell me why you came. I can see that it's not just like that. I wanted to ask you about Andrei Nikolievich. I fell in love. What makes you think that? He just promised to help me with the preparatory work. Well, in the end, I have to know who my bosses are, right? You need to go to him. I do not know what he meant. And then you'll find out for yourself. Yusha. Hi there. Hi there. Here, hold the computer. I specifically removed the password from him. 
Well, so that you can sit on the internet in the evening. You're probably bored here alone in the evening. Very. Actually, you know, we could go out tonight. You know, I'm afraid it won't work, but I'd love to. I just can't leave the office. I live here illegally. And thanks a lot for the internet. And then I'm here in the evenings completely bestial already. Just like that. How are you? Do you know an iron? Maybe I should stay in the evening after work, well, help you figure it out, but you know. You said it yourself, you almost went berserk. In general, you know, I'm a free guy, and even with my own apartment. It is necessary to use it. You know, I'm afraid that I don't match such a bouquet of virtues. No, on the contrary, you do. That's it, already. Thank you. Come on, what are you doing? Well, I'm friendly. All right, consider it passed. Well, great. Tell me, is the boss married? Chief. The boss is married to his job. And so they divorced their wife a long time ago. In general, he has Anna favor. Anna. His mistress. And so you won't think right away. Yes, but everyone in the office knows about it, but I try to hold my tongue with my teeth. The boss is a tough man, he can fire two bills for such gossip. So you better mind your own business, or you'll be out of here. Clearly. Well, let me show you a couple of techniques in the possession of internet surfing. Come on. The boss married the secretary. The secretary, not the cleaning lady. So, Lilia, well done, you look just awesome. So, Leshka, cut it. Easy, but tomorrow. Lilia is calling clients, but you haven't prepared yourself. So, Milka, attention. Today is a corporate party on the occasion of the company's birthday. You can look informal, but not streetwise. Anna Albertovna, you look just great. Come to me. Yes, there will be no ram today. Siusha. Are you going to the corporate party? It's usually fun there. No, I don't want to, and there is a lot of work. Don't be silly, you should definitely go. Well, so to speak, to join the team. Well, I'll think about it, but I still have nothing to go in. But just with this there are no problems. Let's go help. Lilia. Come on. Lilia. In short, Lilia. I need your help. Corporate is important. Well, a new team, you need to match. And Ksyusha has nothing to wear at all. She got caught in the rain. In general, everything is bad. Can you help me? About the same size as you. I'm a little taller, though, but, well, it's okay, we'll find something. Probably also cosmetics, jewelry is also needed, right? Yeah. So, let's do this. We'll go to my place in an hour and decide everything on the spot. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully not yet. For us, right? For our team.
take a picture here, please. The little black dress is super. Yes, especially when it's on such a figure. Xiusha, you're cool. Because of you. Yes, yes. What are you? Yes. Sat down. Xenia. You're not going to make it with her anyway. You'll see, everything will be fine. Get stuffed? Still found nothing to argue about. Hood and God. So you're a hobbit yourself. We're just like that. For what? Let's do a three crow in our hallway. Well, look at the master class from Real Sex. Well, this. So, let's pour it quickly before it comes up. How are you? All right. Lyosha, let's go congratulate Andrei Nikolaevich on the holiday. Andrei Nikolaevich. Hello. Alexei and I would like to congratulate you on the company's birthday and wish you prosperity. Thank you. Yes, yes. Well, you look. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes. Can I ask you to dance? And why not? Нет границ у безмерности, нет прекраснее верности под мелодию нежности. Любовь воскреснет, ведь пою я эту песню только для тебя. Лови Так высоко станет на сердце легко, а порой вечерний не засыпай душа моя, если ты мечтаешь летать. Friends, I ask for a moment of attention. I have a toast. So I propose to drink to our excellent leader, our permanent Andrei Nikolaevich Vorontsov because he was the one who stood at the origins of the creation of this company. It is thanks to him that our company has been working so successfully for the past three years. Andrea Shenka, for you. Thank you. That's called heavy for your table. I was worried. Of course, of course I will. Yes, yes. Yusha, come on, I'll show you something. All the people gathered. Surprise. That we're here. Four. What are you? Are you crazy? Stop it right now. Well, this. So, let's pour it quickly, bye. We're going to the Maldives after all. Hello. Oh, whatever you say. Well, our master class from sex was held. The topic of the first lesson is how I fly. Make fun. Well, I think as soon as you make a reference on everything. Then in Vietnam, too, it is quite exotic to spend time. I'm tired. Then we'll go. All right, let's go. That's it. 
What does it mean to take away if your mother didn't teach you? You'll clean it yourself. You're a cleaner. Come on, I gathered my stuff and cleaned up after myself. I won't close this shift. Shouted, shouted. Big deal. That's the deal. So do it. Thank you. Thank you. Lesh, you're welcome. Such hooligans need to be put in place. Yes. Why are you so early? Xayush, you. I'm sorry about yesterday. I've had too much. And the guys also provoked me. Don't be mad at me, okay? It happens well. Listen, let's make a deal. There will never be anything between us. Remember, okay? Okay, but I'll always help you with something. Thank you. Xenia. Will you come with me? Come on. Here, we need to clean up quickly before the boss arrives. Understood. Especially do not go anywhere, wipe the dust, vacuum the floors. Get started. Tell Olga I'll be late tonight. Let Petrovich take her, and then come for me. Andre, please, don't pull it. If we're late, we won't catch up later. Promise me that you will call Vishnyakov today. Yes. That's it. I'm off. Go ahead. How everything got to me. That's it. Victor Sergevich, could you bring me a stepladder? And then it's inconvenient for me to wipe the picture there from above. A stepladder is not allowed. You can damage the paintings. No need to invent anything at all. Sergevich, Victor Sergevich, security is demanding you there. All right. Alexei, please bring me a stepladder to the director's office. Yes. Lesh, come on, it's me. Yes, let's wait, yeah. And why do you need a stepladder? You said to wipe the paintings, but I don't get them. Can you handle it? I'll manage. vacuum cleaner. Let's better back up, otherwise you'll probably have a lesson. Give me the vacuum cleaner. And press the button, please. Well, that's it. Now it's a completely different matter. And then they took the fashion to wipe the dust with a heifer. I'll have to do the same job tomorrow. Just a little more and that's it. Oh. Wow. Lyosha, what is it? 
I'm going to get hit hard, right? It won't hit anyone, because we won't tell anyone anything. You go ahead, finish up here. And not a word to anyone that I was here, alright? And why the stepladder? Well, will you come back without me? Why did you freeze? Did you touch the paintings? No, you see, I didn't get it. Bitch, huh? Well, I'll arrange it for you. Alyosha, what? Lyosha, after all, what kind of thing is this? And how did she end up there? This is yours, right? Into the webcam. And someone specially installed the chef's office. It has nothing to do with it at all. What does this mean? It means that the person's office is under surveillance. A rat appeared in the office. What does a rat mean? Well, I have this question. This means that a traitor has appeared in the company. Xenia. Come to my office. Is it possible to be more lively? Вечер гаснет небо осеннее. Если грусть не поддельная, если верить не в мочь опять, взгляни на звезды, их сияющие росы только для тебя. Ветер. Улетает за горизонт, приглашает тебя в полет. Если счастье устало ждать, оставь сомнения. Все на свете направления только для тебя. Лови мгновение, ты. Летишь так высоко, станет на сердце легко, а порой вечерний не засыпай душа моя, если ты мечтаешь летать. So, I insist that you confess and return what you took from the chief's office. This is an element of an expensive alarm system, and I demand that you return it immediately, because it costs a lot of money. I know you didn't do it on purpose. Well, I don't understand what you're asking me at all. I wasn't there, I didn't see any elements. Why are you blaming everything on me at once? After all, it could have disappeared before me. You just told me that you were alone in the office. Well, yes, one. Well, maybe someone else took it. So. I'm calling the police now, and let her figure out who did it. Is that clear? So, am I calling? Call me, let them come and sort it out. And I tell you again that I didn't take anything, I didn't see any elements. I don't understand anything about technology at all. I'll explain to you again why I need it at all.
Well. Okay. I know you didn't do it and you couldn't have done it. Well, what are you doing then? Well, I had to check. You understand me, don't you? Checked. Let's check it out. Okay, go before the chief arrives, and not a word to anyone until I'm done with this investigation. I need to know who did it. I hope you understand me. Of course I understand. That's it, not a word to anyone. Go ahead. Good morning. Hello. What's the matter with the boss? He's not like that today. I don't know, I don't know. But the symptom is alarming. Xyusha. Let's go to my place, we have a conversation. Come to me. Are you sure she took the camera? She was alone in the office. There was no one else. So she's got the camera now. She can tell anyone at any time. Hardly. I told her that this is an investigation and if something doesn't work out, the police will be called. She prays to her very much, because she lives with us illegally. Don't worry about that. Well. She's a country girl. She is unlikely to understand at all what it is. And if he understands, or will he ask someone? At least there will be the same Lashi. I don't think so. I'm keeping an eye on him, and it looks like after she punched him in the face in front of everyone, she won't even talk to her. No, I still feel it's only a matter of time. Sooner or later she would tell Franz everything. We can't put it off any longer. We need to do everything tonight. And with this one? Well, Golden knows what to do. I've come up with something. She shouldn't be in the office today. Anya. I missed you. Are you crazy? But not here, not now. Be patient until tonight. Lesh. And yet, what kind of thing was that? Why is Dedenka so tense? I didn't say. Scarecrows. Ah, uh, scarecrowed, persuaded, twirled, as if in a frying pan. And yet, what is it? In short, I typed on the internet, found this camera. Another very cool high-definition camera. Expensive. In short, after ordering, you can get it. There is no other way for me at all. So it's not a fucking security system. Something more serious. In short, I think it's better for us not to get involved in this matter. All right, and then what to do? I don't know, throw it to hell and forget it. No, I can't do that. You need to tell either Chief Petrovich. Don't you get it at all? And if it was our Anna who made the bookmark for the chef herself, out of jealousy, she rents it to every skirt. You saw for yourself that the chief enters the office. Sad. But they put him down, quarreled. It's not for nothing that they say, they swear, they just hold on. They'll make up with time later, and I won't have time to tell my mother how they'll get me out of here. Listen, maybe it's not Anna at all. And who? Martians? Or what? Listen. What if it's a competitor? Well, yes, a competitor. They stuck the camera in the shirfu in the office. How do you imagine it? There are guards here at night. The camera shoots around the clock. And he, Olga, is in the waiting room all the time. No, those are some of their own. You know, I don't care. 
Of ours, of ours, I will not be silent. You don't care, but I do. I don't care. I don't want to stay with a wolf ticket. I'm sure all the cones will fly. The only person who is in the office and understands computer stuff. In short, if anything, do not refer to me. Agreed? Yes, yes, coward, I didn't expect it. Give me the camera. Are you a fool? Give me the camera. You'll get knocked up. And then they'll blame you. In what? I don't know. In industrial espionage and there's something else. With her, they blame me, not you. So give me the camera. Ah, here you go. Only I warned you. Yes. Why the hell did he come an hour earlier? I've scheduled it for another time. Excuse me. Give it here. Now. No. I'll take it, Chief. Stealing? Never mind, you'll get yours yet. I decided to change my profession. Olga went to lunch, so I'm on watch. What did you want? The situation is already complicated. We have a random person here. I spend the night here, I stay alone. It is unknown what she does here. Maybe there's enough charity already, huh? Have you checked it at all? Are you sure about her? Are you talking about Xyusha or something? And what to check it for? An ordinary provincial woman, saving money for her studies. What's the problem? Provincial. He's saving up money for school. But look what I took from her today. Interesting. And where did she get it from? Silent. He says, they say, she was walking, carrying the boss to give. Lying, of course. And then she had a Sherla Mura with this Lyosha. And he, by the way, is an IT specialist. And he knows exactly where this thing can be attached. And, by the way, they were whispering in the corridor. I saw her showing him this thing. So there may be problems. I understand you. Petrovich. Come on. Andrei Nikolievich. I'll deal with that. Is something wrong? Should I invite Bushuev to my office? Educated. So I reported your ugly behavior to the management. The decision has been made to dismiss you immediately and vacate the room you occupy. What? I don't understand why. There is nothing to understand to do what you are told, so that in an hour your spirit will not be here. Is that clear? She brought me up to date on your problem. It so happened that I am in charge of this area of work in the ministry. Well, 
Given our long-standing acquaintance with Anna Albertovna, I am ready, of course, to find ways to solve your situation together with you. Of course, subject to certain conditions. I understand that she introduced you to these conditions. Of course, only these conditions do not suit me. Why? Is there anything strange about them, or don't you think so? Well, for whom as, they just don't really align with my principles. Well, what can I do, Andrei Nikolievich? These are the realities of life. It can be said that this is a production necessity. I'll call you back. Excuse me a minute. Well, go on, I'm listening to you. Okay, hold on. It's a duplicate of your room key, the one with the tag. Hang it on the board. Do you understand? Well, with the keys, go to the toilet yourself and hide there. Well, like you left. Then come back here and close yourself from the inside. All right? And don't leave here until morning, okay? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, go to the boss and try to explain everything to him. But I don't think he'll believe you. But this is our last chance. Okay, I'll go, otherwise we'll be declassified. All right? Thank you, Lesh. You're welcome. Not a fluff. She doesn't work for us anymore. It's all right. Great. We act as agreed. I'll make a preliminary call. Yeah. So we just misunderstood each other. It's okay, it happens. Let me take my leave. I thought you'd agreed on everything. What did you tell him? And I told him that I wouldn't pay anything. So that's it, right? Yes. Why are you making an idiot out of me, huh? I'm fighting like a fool. I'm arranging a meeting with a serious person for you. I'm trying to solve your problem somehow. After all, the teleprinter will interfere with him. So, stay with your principles. I'm done. Andrei Nikolievic, are you all right? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Ksyusha, the cleaner. I live here in your back room. Would you like some whiskey? What? Deaf and dumb? I won't. I don't drink. Oh, come on. I don't drink. I saw you and Lyosha drinking champagne at a corporate party. Sit with me. I'll sit if you don't tease the golden noses. I swear. Do you swear? You know, I chewed my way through from the bottom, I always knew. Don't kill, don't lie, don't steal. No, I, of course, do not understand that crossing the river, not to wet the party, this does not happen. And so, I'm sitting here like a fool, scooping water with my palm, and the water runs through my fingers. Where is he running? What is he running for? I can't understand it. Listen, I know. Didn't Petrovich tell you anything about the camera? Did you really want to steal it? Well, no, of course not. I knocked her down by accident when I was cleaning. Oh, yes. We have security guards on every corner of these cameras. In your office. Really over the picture. I think I stuck Didenko in there.
Are you sure that Daidenko? I'm sure. Or maybe you want to take revenge on him. Oh, I heard that Daidenko is nobbing you, huh? Really? Look, his nagging has nothing to do with it at all. Let me tell you something now, and then you will draw your own conclusions. And one more condition, don't think I need anything from you. And don't interrupt, or I'll get lost. Come on, just tell the truth, you know, or I won't have mercy. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. It's a pity that today the Shnikov did not agree. It was possible to resolve the issue today. Because the documents for the company are ready, not from the tranche yet. Well, nothing, we have reached the finish line, there is not much left to live. You've had plenty of time to tell me all this. For today, it seems to me now is not the time at all for me to find out about this chip. Yes, why? Yes, everything is very simple, in fact. At first, I made it so that we got into a war with our main competitor. This has robbed the company, and we have lost most of our cash. So you want to tell me that Vorontsov was left practically without money? I don't really. He still has the task, which means that Nemica is a strategic reserve. So we don't know her. When I was able to convince him that we simply had no other way out but to apply to Poshnyakov's order. Well, I sat down with Vishnikov. Presnyakov organizes his order, it gives the company dry. The services of earwigs are not cheap at all. Well, you told me they didn't agree. Four. It's a matter of time. They'll come to an agreement anyway. Raul tears. there's no other way out. Yes, well, have you done it? Next. Then you and I call everything, all the vital documents of the company. We do everything, of course, quietly. No one should know about anything. The tranche arrives. We are instantly surprised by the owners of the company. We provide a pre-prepared package of left documents. Well, then everything, how do you like the oil? We throw Vorontsov out of the directors, out of the office, change the keys, change the security, and that's it. Our company translates to offshore. In general, I have everything thought out a long time ago. But it seems to me that it won't be for long. All this can win a huge hype. Contact the prosecutor's office, the media, and we can talk about the hot one together. Do you know how much? And if we do everything clearly, we will not fail. Vorontsov won't be able to solve the issue quickly anyway. I just don't have that kind of money. Well, going to court is a long business and, as you know, unpromising. Moreover, Vorontsov is simply not a loss against him. So it turns out that we get the whole Guardian? Yes, and not only that, not just the tranche. Who else? We sell the fastest possible grant. This is a company that has a lot of things, both contracts and real estate. Accordingly, the company is instantly sold and even more quickly becomes disconnected. Where is the money? The money is not small. And then we do all the makeup with a pen. Addis. And then tell me what? I'm not exactly a bush for you, am I? Not only in the body, but also in the share. I'm sure it will all go like clockwork. Yeah. Mm. Listen. Well, maybe it really turns out like you said. Did she tell the truth? I swear. Not a word about this to anyone. And who should I tell? Didenko fired me anyway, and he forbade me to appear in the office. By the way, on your behalf. Well, consider that I have restored you. Work as you worked, revive here. And what you've told me, don't say a word to anyone, don't explain anything. I'll explain everything myself. I need a few days to figure it out. Understand. Understood. Understood.
Zolotanas. Clean up, otherwise I've messed up here. Everyone to your places, we will win. Chief, is everything okay? More than. Come to my place. Well, have you talked to the boss? I talked. But not quite as I expected. And what? Nothing. Listen, come to my place, tell me. Listen to me. Listen, there's nothing to tell. Everything is very strange and incomprehensible. Bushu Eva? Your probation period has been extended. You can move back into the room. Nothing funny. EU. Listen, let's go celebrate. What are you working for? Oh, come on, haven't you ever skipped school? Well, no. We'll figure out what? No. Come on, come on, let's go. Duzia, hello. Yes, I'm fine. I study, I work. What? How are you coming? When? Tomorrow. And no, no, I'm glad, really, I'm very glad. I just thought you'd warn me a little earlier. Yes, yes, I will meet, I will definitely meet. All right, yes, well, you call, yes. Come on, kiss me, see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah. Be careful. Lyosha, this is a disaster. Is something wrong? Aunt Duzia is coming tomorrow. Is she like a barmail to you? She is my closest person. But what about the parents? She is my parents. There are no others. Listen, what if she finds out that I lied? And she lied a lot. Yes, she lied about everything. About the dorm, about studying, about work. Lesh, what to do? So calm. Well, you have a job, everything is fine here. Just don't go into too much detail about what and how. You'll see, and it will take a ride. Well, what about studying? If she goes to the institute with me? Well, you're wrong with you definitely won't drag. Well, in extreme cases, he will say that you are on vacation. Lesh, what kind of vacation is it now? But your aunt knows when it's vacation, when it's not. Okay, dorm room. Dorm. Tell them you've rented an apartment. Well, where will I get it? Well, there is one option. Move in with me temporarily, well, until my aunt leaves. Oh, come on, what are you? Wait, do you have a lot of other options? Well, the main thing is not to fuss, everything will be fine, and I'm not going to bother you. I don't know. I'll think about it. Shall we go? Come on. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello, Andrei Nikolievich. And there will be no ram. Hello, oh, hi there. Anna Albertovna, please come to me. Good morning. Hello. Hi there. Well, I'm sorry. You were right. It was a production necessity. To live with wolves is to howl like a wolf. I'm glad. So you want me to arrange a meeting with Cherry? Yes, and as soon as possible. All right. I'm going to negotiate. Yes. And in the evening to me. 
whatever you say. I'm waiting for the results. Tell me, has the order for Bushu Eva's dismissal been prepared? Oh, remind me, what was she guilty of? She left work today. I demand that she be fired immediately. Oh, you know, this is not in my competence. Do you need to call Andre Nikolievich so that he will take it? Yes. Andrei Nikolievich, Victor is here to see you. Sergevich. Didenko. Oh, you're my girl. Oh, I've grown up somehow. And lost weight. Are you all right? From me, what are you eating? Everything is fine. I'm so glad to see you. Who's that with you? And this is Lyosha, my friend and my colleague. We work together with him. And this is Evdokia Dmitrievna, my closest, beloved person. It's a pleasure, Evdokia Dmitrievna. Let me take your purse, I'll help you. Yes, just call me Aunt Duzia. I'm already used to it. All right. But where are we going? To your dorm. Oh, Aunt Duzia, you don't know anything. No? Me. What is it? I moved out of the dorm yesterday. I found an apartment. What are you? Yes, don't be afraid of it being so expensive. Yes, it's not very expensive. Lyosha here helped. His sister also went to study only abroad. And so, it turned out. Yes, but I see you're a good guy. What are we standing for? Let's go. Let's go, and then you get a taxi. I don't understand what the problem is at all. I'm bringing it in, I'm not going to fire you. What is unclear? Andrei Nikolievich, it can't go on like this anymore. But she doesn't give a damn about me. Be rude to every word. This is truancy. I wonder why she has such privileges at all. I'm not going to take it anymore. That is, in other words, either you or she. Did I understand correctly? Well, you forced it yourself. Well, what else can I do? But this story with the camera. I reported. You have not taken any measures. And constantly an outsider lives in the office and. For some reason. This does not surprise you. Just wait, calm down. She no longer lives in the office. Lily told me that she moved in with Lyosha. Well, I'll think about your words. Go for now. Oh, what are you going to do here? Can't you do the cleaning in the apartment, huh? Look. I mean, well, I just moved in. Yeah. Here, sitting on the floor, somehow you, Midna. Around the corner is garbage. Some crumbs, dust. Souls are uncomfortable. I'll do the general cleaning tomorrow and everything here. Let's drink tea. Oh, I've already prepared everything. Oh, you're so economic. Well done. Thank you. Well, actually, you have an apartment like this. It's nothing. I didn't like it. And I'll stay with you for a week. Do you mind? Well, what are you doing? Where are you in a hurry? Nobody takes it away. Well, how is it, Ksyusha? Eh? Of course I am. Live as long as you want. Really, Lyosha? Of course, of course. Live as long as you need. Anyway, this is Ksyusha's apartment. Okay, you're settling in here for now. And I'll go. Am I escorting? Yes, of course. Show me out. He'll live for a week, but there's nothing to do. Well, hang out somewhere with your friends and make an agreement. You can see what it is, right? It's impossible with her at all. You don't touch it. Please, Lesh. You know how in that fairy tale the fox had an ice hut, and the hare had a lupin. <laughs> okay, live as long as you need. 
Well, in the meantime, I'm going to look for a shelter for myself. Invaders. Thank you. I agree to pay. I'm going to meet Vishnikov now. I hope that they will agree on everything tonight. I hope there won't be any surprises. It won't. I found out that this girl moved to live with the club. So I think they won't create any problems for us at all. But I'll take care of the rest. I'll prepare everything. Okay, then I'm off. You wait for my command. All right. So, I don't have anyone else. I don't know why you think that. The girl that's mine. Yes, I know you. How can it be that you don't know yourself? And I see something sad, and something torments you. And what can torment a girl and care at such a young age? Only love. Well, what kind of love? A little tosh. Here you go. If you don't want to, don't tell me. A. And who is he? My boss. And he doesn't notice me at close range. Only the golden neck tees. You're my girl. Well, which one? He. Beautiful. Well, that's understandable. Kind. And everyone in the office respects him. But he only has Anna, a mistress. And he walks by me every day, he doesn't notice me at close range. Oh, well, what can you do? You love him, but he doesn't love you. And it torments you. Well. Only you have to figure out for yourself how serious this is for you. But there. There, either go ahead and come what may, or leave and try to forget. So just leave, Aunt Dus. That's it, take it and leave. Well, of course. I can't. Well, then wait. Life, it will put everything in its place and tell you what to do. Well, I am. Actually, I was on my way to my second cousin's, but I turned around on the way to you. Okay, well, stop. And what, you won't even stay for a week. Oh, come on, go to bed. We'll talk tomorrow. Go for a walk, I'll call you when I need you. Vorontsov has matured, asks for a meeting. That's fine. Only the conditions have changed somewhat. I assume you have the documents ready, right? Yes, of course. We'll have to change something there. I want my man to become the third co-owner of Vorontsov's former company. Don't you trust me? I trust you. But trust, but check. And repeatedly. I'll feel safer this way. But it will take some time and costs. It's not up for discussion. Either you do what I say, or the deal will not take place. This is understandable. Yes, more. I would like to consolidate our partnership, so to speak. Well, to make him more intimate. Or something. More trusting. Do you understand what I mean? Of course. Moreover, I am also interested in it. 
I just need to sort out one little detail. Of course, of course. Hello. Hello, Andre. Hi there. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little late. I had unforeseen circumstances. Are you coming soon? Yes, yes, yes. I'll be there soon. Bye. I kiss you. Bitch. Whore. I hate it. Is everything all right? Now yes. And I didn't wait for you yesterday. Have you made an agreement with Vishnyak? Of course. The meeting will take place today. I will specify the time and place later. I'm sorry, I couldn't get out of yesterday's meeting. I had very important negotiations. And how did the negotiations go? Of course, I didn't learn anything new for myself. But it was interesting. I'm happy for you. It doesn't cancel out tonight somehow. Well, I have to redeem myself. Well, don't exaggerate. You don't owe me anything. Can I work a little? All right. You know, I'm glad that at last there are no unsaid things left between us. Or is something confusing you? In my opinion, everything is very clear. I agree to all the conditions, but I ask you not to delay the decision on the conclusion of the contract. Well, believe me, now that we have agreed on everything, no one needs it. I assure you, the issue will be resolved within a few days. Only I ask you and Mr. Vrantsev to remember that your part of our agreements is fulfilled first. Therefore, the amount should be transferred tomorrow. Oh, I remember, they're coming tomorrow. Well, fine. See you tomorrow, then. Well, what is the reason for sadness? And why rejoice, that I was fucked? I'm not exaggerating. Well, now we have new prospects. And you can drink to that. Thank you very much. You really helped me out. Well, Aunt Dozia has left, and I have to go. Well, the aunt left, and what? Why do you have to go back to the office? Is that mandatory? We can live together quite well. What do you think? Lesh, listen. Well, we've talked about this a hundred times, haven't we? You're very nice, but nothing will work out between us. I'm sorry, please. Xyusha, I love you. I love you, as soon as I saw you, right away. 
Not very dear, I want to be with you. Let's be together. Lyosha. Lyosha, stop it, or you'll get in the face again. Xyusha. Lyosha, I've told you everything. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything bad. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I just got carried away. Xyusha, leave it, turn it on, just in case. You never know what. Well, you can always come back here. Well, whenever you want. Well, I won't stop anymore, I swear. You swear. I swear. Well, that's it. Bye. Is everything all right? How is Veronsa? I've already drunk two bottles of whiskey. I think he won't wake up until morning. Are you all set? Yes, the central blocks are de-energized. The cameras do not work. I have the keys. Then let's go. Вечер, гаснет небо осеннее. Если грусть не поддельная, если верить не в мочь опять, свини на звезды. Их сияющие росы только для тебя. Ветер улетает за горизонт, приглашает тебя в полет. Если счастье устало ждать, оставь сомнения. Все на свете направления только для тебя. Лови мгновенье Ты улетишь так высоко Станет на сердце легко А порой вечерний Не засыпай, душа моя Если ты мечтаешь летать There's no one at all. Have you checked everything? I checked. I handed over the keys. There was no one. Don't worry. The main thing is not to turn on the light so that the guards do not notice us. Come on. Damn it. Damn, it won't open. The last digit is nine. Or zero. Yeah, this infection tore out the camera. Why are you frozen? Get rid of her. It's not what you think. I'll explain everything to you now. Help me. Help me. 
Help me. Someone. Hey, hey. Petrovich, this is Ksyusha. Anya, we try to hide seven. Give me a hard time, please, I'm scared. Come out, come out. Don't be afraid. Stand still. Viktor Sergevich, what are you doing here? I am this, here somewhere. I was at my place, someone snuck in. A thief of some kind has made his way, I'm trying to find it. I think a man ran there. It is necessary, let's take a look there, and I'll check here. No, no, you can't be here. Come on, we'll find it ourselves. All right, let's go. Come on. Or maybe this. Janusha. It's me. I've arrived, come out. Everything, 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 everything. Hush, 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 hush. I was sitting in the room. <gasps> and then, then I heard voices, understood, to the office. They're trying to hide it there. Who, who is this? Anna and Tidenko. Anna, are you sure? Yes, I saw her. That's how you are now. Got it. Everything is clear now. All right, all right. Everyone, be quiet. All right, let's go, let's go. Yes. Hello, Petrovich. You fell from an oak tree, it's night outside, Ed. What? Didenko? Nothing, nothing, I'll figure it out myself. I'll come by taxi. Come on. Well, what do you say? Everything this girl says is absolute nonsense. It wasn't her who caught me, but I caught her when she tried to open the safe. Didenko, tell me, what were you doing in the office at night? I was late and working with the documents. Then I started smoking. Then I heard some sounds, went out to check and caught this stuff near the safe. And I've been saying for a long time that it's not necessary to take random people and merge them in the office. Here, please, is the result. He no longer blushes when he lies. And where do you think I am, disconnected from the safe? Well, at least I live here. And where did they come from here, so beautiful with flashlights?
Regarding Anna Albertovna, this is a complete slander. And all this entails only one goal, she just wants to take her place, sorry, in your bed. So, the casket did not just open, but it was too simple. I have been working for your company for more than 10 years, I have proven myself too well. I know perfectly well that you never keep money in a safe, and she doesn't know that. And then, she said several times that she needed to pay for some kind of study. So now figure out which of us is right and which of us is a thief. Well, it turns out that he is right in all respects. What will Zolotanusha say to this? You know what, if you want, call the police. I'll tell them everything. I'll tell you anywhere that I saw them at his place and that Anna. I don't think the police need to be called. This will have a bad effect on our company and then we have nothing to show her. If anyone else is interested in my opinion, I believe that this bastard should be fired from his job immediately. Yes, indeed, to call the police. Meaningless. But about the dismissal, an interesting thought. You're fired, you bastard. Get out of here. Sorry, it was. Out. Quickly. Petrovich, please, take this scum away, otherwise I will. I'm not responsible for myself. First of all, I need to pick up my things. I'll see what your things are. And your stuff will be brought home to you. Don't cry. Don't cry. Do you believe me? I believe. Of course I do. I feel like you're telling the truth. Well, that's it. All right, thanks. Come on, go rest and I'll figure it out for now. And the keys are still in the safe. Your bundle. Yes, mine, it's obvious, one took them away, so that later I could drop them off. And most importantly, the moment is so right. There was a bitch. Well, yes, if it wasn't for the golden knife, I don't know what would have happened. So, what, now Kenny? I think it's time to ask her a couple of questions. No, even if we ever find her, she still won't tell the truth. I know her. Yes, and dangerous. I can't help but hold back. I'll take you home. Yes, Petrovich, you sit here. I still need to thank a person. Okay. Ksyusha. Listen. I want to thank you for what? For what you weren't afraid to say. Really, I'm sorry for the official tone. I don't know anything about you. It's like you were enrolled there somewhere. Yes, to the journalism faculty. Journalism. Well, why didn't you get in? Poorly prepared? No, I'm well prepared. It's just that knowledge has nothing to do with it at all. I talked to the guys, students from other cities. They said that you need to study at preparatory courses, only then you will enter. And what's the matter? Well, how about what? In money of course. Where can we get so much Aunt Ducey? Well, I remember, I remember, yes. The golden boy was the smartest. But that's what you said then. In a hurry. <sighs> so, you want to go to preparatory courses. But you will stay to work for me. Stay. Well? Until tomorrow? See you tomorrow. Get some rest.
there have been some personnel changes in our company. Anna Albertovna Kubanovskia and Viktor Sergevich Didenko left. My new finance director is Elena Mikhailovna Stishko. You all know her well, right? She worked for us as a chief accountant, so you don't need to keep up to date, right? Irina Mikhailovna, take a look, check the documentation there. Yes, I see, now. Yes, I see. My new deputy is Viktor Anatolievich Boretsky. Please love and favor. Before us, he worked as a deputy director in the largest detective agency. He did me some favors. Will work with us. Everyone, go. Work on it. I gave Igor a task to keep an eye on Didenko for a few days. What have you managed to dig up? Mr. Didenko, as far as it was possible to establish, led a fairly active lifestyle, met with Mr. Potanitsyn several times. As far as I understand, this is your main competitor. Кроме того, можно предположить, что он поддерживал интимные отношения by Anna Kabonovskia. At least twice he stayed in her apartment until morning. <coughs> Here. Well, what else? What do you think they wanted here? Why did they try to open it? Well, it's obvious. Plant a drug barrel. Well, they will leak the information to the cops so that I can then. Quite possibly. What are we going to do, huh? I think it is urgent to meet with Vishnikov and continue the previous agreements. Dangerous. Anna is aware of our negotiations and can leak information, giving a bribe to an official. Well, wait, wait. I'm not going to pay him in cash with an open bribe. Moreover, he has all the schemes worked out. And we won't get a government order without this bastard. He'll do everything for that. I think it is necessary to negotiate with him as if nothing had happened and continue the agreements and go forward. I don't see any other way. I don't see any other way out either. Andrei Nikolaevich, Mr. Vishnikov is here to see you. Oh. That's it, right? When you remember the devil, he immediately appears. All right, guys, I heard you.
please. Good afternoon, Andrei Nikolievich. Hello. Well, do you have tea, coffee, cognac? No. No, thanks. Let's get straight to the point. Despite Kobanovsky's departure from our company, I think that this will not affect our relationship with you. I just couldn't think that you were taking this so seriously. But you know what to do. Just the costs of character. No, come on, I'm not judging you in any way, that, after all, this is your business. All right. Let's get back to our arrangements. The decision on allocating funds for the state order has been made, but has not yet been signed. And you understand why? Yes. You understand that I will not be able to get the minister's signature without presenting him, well, let's just say, weighty arguments that you have not yet presented. The ball is on your side. Don't forget that the tender will take place tomorrow. And how long will it take before the funds are actually received? Well, about two weeks. After all, you will easily survive this period. But we need to discuss some details, do you understand? Tell me. Do you personally guarantee all the details? Well, then let me pay all my attention to discussing the details. Yes, hello, called. Yes. I just wanted to get to know the outstanding personality of the company myself. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, why is that? You know, the first order I received was to pay you a bonus. Look, it's very impressive. I don't understand what kind of bonus we are talking about. That's it. Please don't pretend that you don't understand what you were paid for. There are no idiots around. And everyone understands how Anna was fired, how to fire Denka. Of course, I'm not interfering in Vorontsov's case, but I'm not going to dance to your tune. Excuse me, do you think that I am Vorontsov's mistress and he pays me money for it? And that everyone thinks so. There's nothing to think about. He told you that himself, didn't he? Stop making a circus, no. Take your money. Well, then, yes, I'm fine with that. Come on, what's next? Well, when will you be able to submit the necessary documents? Well, my driver will arrive in an hour. That's fine. Well, let me take my leave. Business. Andrei Nikolievich, aren't you ashamed of yourself? What is this award? I didn't ask you for handouts. I told you about these preparatory courses just like that, in a human way. And you? Aliona Mikhailovna, that's how you presented everything, right? You know what? I don't work here anymore. And I don't need your bonuses. Listen up. What an interesting person. Who is she? She needed a job. The vacant seat has been vacated. A cleaner. Yes. Yes, as I like to say, no good deed goes unpunished, right? It is useful to observe how people open up from an unexpected side. Will you take a closer look at her? What was that? Andrei Nikolievich, I just couldn't do anything. She burst in like I don't know what. That's what it is, I don't know what. Come to me quickly. All right. Ksyusha, it's urgent for you. Vorontsov, here he is being summoned. What are you doing? What have you done? Nothing, just told him a couple of affectionate. Are you completely stunned? So, immediately, right now you run to him from the threshold, immediately apologize. Well, there, my god, and blurted out, said stupid things there in a hurry. He's not evil, he'll forgive you. I won't even think about it, he wants to apologize himself. Listen, well, you give, where you can see that the boss himself apologized to the cleaner. Which, by the way, was also his first one who was rude. I wasn't rude to him. Okay, calm down. Explain to me what happened. He wrote me a bonus. 
And when I came to get it to Lena Mikhailovna, do you know what she told me? Something because of me, Anna was fired, and I took her place. And do you know what she said? That's what the whole office thinks. The whole office, you know, and that they pay me money for being with him. Do you understand? No. That I'm his mistress. Now, do you understand? Listen, well, darling, you have a fantasy. Trust me, no one thinks that way. Well, I swear to you. Well, it can't be. Well, just because he is. It can't. Do you know what his nickname is between us? Invincible. So that's why I don't even dream. And I see, are you dreaming? Well, go ahead. The road is clear. It's none of your business at all. Well, I'll blow my nose off without asking you anywhere. That's it, come on, please, faster, otherwise he's me instead of you. Let him be anyone. And I'm quitting. You know, I've already quit, so do whatever you want. That I didn't understand anything. Okay, I'll try to survive. So we'll find a bad one. Everyone, go. Petrovich. Listen, he's going to fly out of the office right now. Well, this, this. The golden boy, yes. Listen, she made such a scandal here. Not a girl, but a tsunami. Yeah. Yes. Well, they picked it up on their own head. Yeah. I picked it up well, but I would only contradict you. Yes. In general, follow her. Where, what? I need it that way. Do it for me. Got it, chief. I'll make sure. She docked. Write the address. I think you'll really like him. I found out in the footage at the address they gave me, Lyosha Semenov. Damn, I knew it. Well, invite him to me. Yeah. Well, guys, I told you that I have Ksyuka and everything will be cool. It is so. We live together now. So, Vatic, go into the corridor, Crow. Ksyuka won't say it to me herself, fuck you, not a cuckoo. I know you'll lie and take it cheap. Listen, but I think it all looks a little dirty on your part. After all, it's a bet. 
so you're fooling Xiuxia's head, and this is somehow, she doesn't deserve it, yes, Lek, you somehow, in short, you're wrong, she's a normal girl, for such things, in fact, they beat the muzzles, and, by the way, you're doing the right thing, what are you guys doing, actually, I'm going to marry Xiuxia, come on, now you've come up with an excuse to fly, eh, yes, I swear, I proposed to her this morning, and what did she say to you? Just don't lie. She said she'd think about it. And you? Eh. Hello, Lilia. What kind of dump is this? Have you gone completely crazy? You yourself will be selected. So, we are copywriters, not cleaners. FR. Pass on the chief's words. He won't take you as a cleaner. Nothing can be said anymore. Your boss's name is... What are we laughing at? We're getting out. We're getting out. Have a seat. Lesh, I'm going to have a private conversation with you. <coughs> wow. Very interesting. I'm listening to you carefully. I'm talking about Xiusha. I'm responsible for her. Well, I mean, personal. You know, I hired her. I'm responsible for her, right? If you're serious with her, that's good. And if... You know, well, a girl's life doesn't spoil. Am I making myself clear? No, not really, Andrei Nikolievich. What are you talking about now? What are you fooling around for? I'm talking about Xiusha and your relationship with her. Actually, Xenia Ilyanikna Bushuiva is of age. Well, as far as I know, you are neither her father nor her gateway. Well, even more so for me. And in the contract, we did not prescribe the interference of management in the personal life of employees. Lesh, I understand that you are really a valuable employee for me. I appreciate it, yes. But there are more important things. Oh, like the moral image. The contract doesn't say anything about it. Let me explain to you. I am a free person and as long as I have not violated the laws, I can do what I want. Meet with whom I want and with whom I like. Any other questions? Borzit is not necessary. I warned you, do you understand me? Well, that's what I do. But you don't have to teach me. What are you trying to show off, eh, Lesh? I wasn't even going to. I just have to remind you that soul-saving conversations on universal topics are not prescribed by the contract. Can I go now? Sit. Sit down. In general, tell Xiusha to go to work, right? Don't let him fool around. Lilia praises her. There are some options. But this is how Xiusha decides. And you make sure that she makes the right decision. Two unemployed young family. Well, this is too much. Am I making myself clear? Da. Well, go ahead. What did he do to you, huh? Something is right in the bayonets. Maybe he imagined something, huh? By the way, there will be a normal guy, not a bastard. What's so raging about, huh? Because my last name is Bushuiva. Please don't get in the way. All right. I'm telling you for sure, you started all this. Think about it yourself. You have to do it. And money will be needed too. So what, a cleaning lady working all her life? Did you just say what the possible options are? Did he just say that? By God, he says, tell Xiusha that there are possible options. So. Well, he said it kindly, even smiled. Really? Yes.
Well, then tomorrow at the office we'll see what options. Eat, sit down. Cool. Fork. Such a hostess. It looks delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we kiss? Eat it. Hello. Well, what's the news? Nothing yet. We are working. Hello, Andre. Hello. Well, got it. Hello, FR. That's great. Gold knife somehow. Hello. Well, are you back? Hello. She's back. Well done. That's right. Lesh, what are you doing? Well, Lyosha? Lesh. Oh, the prodigal daughter is back. Well, give me a job. Give way to the young. Advice and love. Kipki. Don't look, you've already told everyone, haven't you? Ksyusha, not a word to anyone, I swear. Ksyusha. Ksyuk, look at the order we have here. We can't even work. Yes. They don't look like you at all. Because we respect and love you. And so we adapted. Ksyusha, hi, back. She's back. Well done, I'll do it right. We left to keep a secret. Listen, I was just about to call you. Hello. I looked at your texts, everything is very decent there. And that's why I'm going to talk to the boss, yes, so that he will take you to our creative team as my assistant. Do you agree? Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, okay, until we sit down anywhere, I'm going to work. Come on. Hello. Have a nice day. Thank you. Knock, knock. Oh, it's good that I came up. Come on, do it, otherwise I have no one in the waiting room. The phone will ring again. Here you go. Has Andre Nikolievich left? Yeah, he left. Listen, what are you doing here? Yes, I wanted to talk to him. Lyosha told me that he should. Olga Pavlovna, you are it. Go just for a few words. Well, why did you set me up here? And even in front of an outsider you are silent? Sorry, I don't think it will work. Lilia told me everything. You're a fool. Did I really set you up in front of that person, right? Framed, yes something. He told me that he likes them with pepper and advised me to convert. Attention to you. It's not worth it. And what is not worth it? And I did. Yes, hello. Yes, 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 Petrovich, I will. Yeah, well. I'm here now. Xayash. I'm sorry. Let's talk later.
What? Did I not understand? I think that going at night in a guarded room for the second time is just madness. Where to go and not necessary. And it's none of your business anymore, okay? Your business is to be near the office at 8 in the morning and sit waiting. And Vorontsov has tax documents. I didn't understand something. Can I go into more detail from now on? Did we have a different plan of action initially, or do I not know something? You can. You can go into more detail. In general, I really like to talk about successful operations. The state order and the money for it is not the main task. My original goal was the grant itself directly. And it was necessary to neutralize Vorontsov. It was necessary to make Vorontsov's documents and a copy of the registration chamber disappear. And in the tax and in the hands of the new owner of the company coincided, then the transfer of the company from hand to hand could not be disputed in any way. And as for Vorontsov, he can't compete with me at all. It is not criminal law that comes into force here, but telephone law. Everything was ready, only you two screwed up. Well, 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 what's next? Next, what's next? Then, of course, I had to take matters into my own hands. And that's it, and the grant is mine. Only mine. That's it. What do you mean? Yours. That's it. Mine. The tranche remains in the grande. You get your share and go wherever you want. But not immediately. One of you will have to work as a director, and the second will have to work as his deputy. Why? You said that we would immediately sell the diploma to Vorontsov's competitors. He did, but he changed his mind. That's it. I decided to keep it for myself. So you decided to dump us? I didn't understand. That's not what we agreed on. So that's it, my dears. Either you do what I order, or go to hell. I will find a director from the deputy at the labor exchange. You insure her and you're there all the time. And you, on my command, come to the office, present an order for your appointment as the new CEO and announce that all security is changing. Then my people get involved, and you sit in the office and wait for my further orders. Is that clear, I hope? Absolutely. That's it. Yes, dear. Yes, hello. Of course, of course, I did everything, of course, Natasha. Listen, let's go to your place. Firstly, we haven't seen each other for a long time, and then, we need to discuss all this. No, not today. What do you mean, not today? I don't want to hear anything. Everyone, get in the car and let's go. Listen, I can't talk to you right now. I'm at a meeting with the deputy minister. Yes, we have Germans, a delegation. A meeting, you know. Of course, of course I am. Well, I don't know, but I'll probably be late. Of course, I'll be late. All, all, kisses. Maybe to me. But if not for long, Поддельная, если верить не в мочь опять в свиньи на звезды, их сияющие росы только для тебя. Ветер улетает за горизонт, приглашает тебя в полет. Если счастье устало ждать, оставь сомнения, Все на свете направления только для тебя. Лови мгновение, Ты улетишь так высоко, Станет на сердце легко, А порой вечер. Засыпай, душа моя, если ты мечтаешь летать. 
Oh, Goldenrod, hello. I'm not. A. I know who you are. You, Xenia Ilyanikna Bushueva. Will you be a guest? Yes, and thank you for waiting for me. I wasn't expecting you. Now I'm just finishing cleaning and going home. The groom, missed you. Well, okay, well, don't be offended, Xenia Ilyanikna. You know, today is just a lucky day for me. And here I am sitting alone. Well, sit with me, and let's go to a restaurant today. I'd like something to eat, huh? No, thanks, I don't want to. Yes, and let's sit here. Shall we have a drink, and we'll have dinner later? I don't drink, thank you. Well, sit with me, please. Let's just sit down. And you know, Xenia Ilyanikna. If it wasn't for you, then, FR. What did they want? Take the money from the safe, right? No, not the main thing. The main thing is that you didn't get scared, didn't run away. Didn't get scared. She told the truth, despite the fact that everything was against you. In general, well done, for you. Respect. Do you know such words? Well, what will you do next? And you know, yes, everything will be fine. I fired two of them, strengthened the security. Beletsky will now be responsible for security. Nothing, we will stand. Elena Mikhailovna, well, such, well, experience, such a specific one. I talked to her. She'll come over to apologize to you, so put it all out of your mind, right? Here. Well, I'm going to work. Ah, uh, go. Oh, let me help you. Will you help me? Do you want to? I can. To see how everyone from the office would react to this. And what do you think, that I could only sit in the office? Yes, I wanted to tell you about Lyosha, but he's not a match for you. Well, nothing good would have worked out for you anyway. You know what? I realized from the very beginning that it was better not to mess with you. Okay, I see. And then what? You know, you have a strange property. You, as soon as you begin to feel like a king, immediately tell me how to live, what to do. And I don't like that, you know, more than anything in the world. Thank you. I can't understand, just that everything was fine. What kind of fly has bitten you now? And I can't stand it when people get into my soul and tell me how I should do, how to live. Do you understand? You're bossing your Anna around, okay? And then you will have the next one. Are you going to point me here? So you don't tell me either. I can tell you, you'll regret it. But they will regret it. Okay, you know what I want to say, I don't give a damn, and in general, just live. Live as you want. I will live as I want. On. What do you want? And they're on the ship. You fold up, you bastard. 
does not obey. You know what? It's so impossible to exist normally at all. Let's move out. You'll be able to exist normally alone. No one needs to move out anywhere. In general, let's already live like a normal couple. Better. Xyusha, marry me. I'm ready, really, ready. Why are you silent? Do you agree, no? Well, say something. No, Lesh, I don't agree. Listen, why are you starting this again? I don't like you to look at me. Well, I don't like it. Well, I'm sorry, please. I love you, but my love is enough for both of us. Well, and if your children appear for three or four, well, as it goes. Well, you're still quite a kid. What do you understand about love? And if you don't stop ruffling my nerves, I'll leave today. Okay, never mind. I won't do it anymore. But our conversation is not over yet. Good, good. Here, have breakfast. Is there any porridge? It's coming. Only my mother knows how to cook such porridge. I think that my future wife will also be able to. All right. Listen. What are your things in the office? Maybe let's move them. What do you think? A good idea, but inconvenient. They'll start with the shoulders. Let's do it then in the evening after work when everyone leaves. Will it be okay? Come on. Okay, look, I'm late. Bon appetit. Oh, my god, it's the scrubber again. Send her away. Gone. Chronicon, Tax Inspectorate. Read the resolution on the seizure of documents of the Grant Company. Yes, that's right. There's no one here. It's empty. It's none of your business. Do what is ordered. Fighters, two remain at the entrance. Do not let anyone in or out of the grant until my personal order. One with me, the witnesses too. There is. Perform. Good morning. Hi, Xyusha. Olga Pavlovna, this is Nikolai, the security guard. Yes. Guests come to your office, tax, picket bikes. While they're waiting for the elevator down here, they'll be up in a couple of minutes. Thank you.
Fuchsia, come to me, quickly. Here are the company's statutory documents and the keys to the safe. Here you go. The fate of Andrei Nikolievich's company is in your hands. They can't be found. Understand? Understood. And down there, not. Do whatever you want. Just get them out of here. What's going on? Who are you? Calm down. I am an employee of the tax inspectorate, Pranikin. I have a decree on the seizure of documents. You can get acquainted. Who are you? The cleaner is mopping the floors here. Come on, my friend, don't stand there. Thank you. So, and who are you? I am the secretary of the CEO, and please don't poke me. Secretary, very good. Tell me, secretary, where is the general's office? So that's it. Don't touch anything and don't call anyone. Come with me. Is everything clear to you? Everything is clear. Everyone follow me. Witnesses, come in. Open the safe. Oh, I don't have the keys. Only Andrei Nikolievich has the keys. Don't lie. I know perfectly well that you have a spare set. I wonder, do you know where such awareness comes from? Didenko told you? Or Kublanovskia, why didn't they get up themselves? Be silent. Open the safe. I said I don't have the keys. You can search it. Yes. A fighter. Stas. Clear. Well, look in her things, in her desk. Go ahead. And you, Olga Pavlovna, go to the reception. With pleasure. I've checked everything, there's nothing. Oh, shit. So that's it. Go down and wait. As soon as Vorontsov arrives, without any talk, bring him here immediately. Let the rest block the offices, corridors. None of the office staff should come here before the end of the operation. Is everything clear? Got it. Execute. What are you doing here? Did you come with your own? Yes, there's nothing yours here. Well, that's still how to look at it. Hush, hush. No need to swing your fists. You know, at your age, it's not very respectable to sit down for a vulgar hooligan. Go, go, go. There's a surprise waiting for you there. Uncle, I'll get you again, understand? But we'll see about that. Why did you start this necessary conversation for them? Nothing. Let him know who dipped him in shit up to the top of his head. A trifle, but nice. Hello, Andrei Nikolievich. They won't let us in. So, now let's figure out what's going on here. Why are my employees not allowed to work? Investigative actions are taking place here. The office is temporarily closed. Who are we? Your documents. Without an order from the management, I have no right. Okay, where's your manual? Who are you? I am the CEO of the company, Vorontsov. Great, come with me to my management. I'll walk you out. Come on, follow me.
Well, hello. Is everything going according to plan? Yes. Yes, the tax office is already in the building. Isn't it time for us yet? No, not yet. My man will inform me when the documents are withdrawn. It's all right, I'll let you know. And the keys, the keys, the keys were found at this old chicken. I don't know, I haven't been informed yet, children. You are the guide. I demand an explanation. Tronican, Tax Inspectorate. Get acquainted with the resolution on the search and seizure of constituent documents. The resolution specifies the purpose of the seizure of documents, and not a word about August here. And why are outsiders here? These are not outsiders, they are understood. Understood, right? Are the masks of the show also understood? And these are employees of a special unit. They are here to maintain order and to ensure the safe conduct of the event. And we withdraw the documents to verify their authenticity. We have information about the Raider seizure of the company. Oh, about the Raider takeover. But it seems to me that this is happening now. Don't talk nonsense. This is nothing more than your speculation. Are you ready to voluntarily issue the documents we need? In your interests in the future, it can be counted as assistance to the investigation. I'm asking for the last time, will you open the safe voluntarily or will we open it? Open it. Well, did you find the documents? Listen, Pranikin, I've been here with you for an hour, and the result is zero. You don't work well. Stand still. I have to check what you're taking out there. No question. Here, check it out. There are no statutory documents where. How? How not? And really there is no. Yes, yes. Or maybe you didn't search well. We have, you know, these safes. Can you take a look there? What are you trying to teach me? No way am I. I'm just trying, you know, to help the investigation. The investigation? All right. A fighter. Says Pronikin, all to me, quickly. I'm going to throw it all out on the floor. You're going to pick at it yourself. And then you will collect it yourself, understand? What are you, a greyhound? Now you will collect everything yourself. Let's tense up, Pronikin. Documents need to be found. The game, Anatolievich. Set aside, free. You again, and again to make a row. <laughs> By the way, it's very nice that you remember me. Of course I remember. It was you who were in Andre Nikolievich's office when I quit. Yes, yes, yes. It turned out to be a very convenient situation. Oh, come on, stop it. Don't be embarrassed. By the way, I was very impressed with you. Yes, such a girl with character. And I love people with a spark. Yes. Well, I see you haven't quit, you're still working. Well, yes, no other proposals have been received yet. Here. By the way, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Do you want to work for me? What am I supposed to do? You will be my personal assistant. Well, Xenia, think about it. Well, what can Vorontsov give you? Is it to be a cleaner in his office and a servant in his life? He just wants to keep you close to him and that's it. It's obvious. That's it. No, well, as a man, I really understand him and do not condemn him in any way. Well, he's just a dork. A boar and a lout and others will never become. He just can't. That's why I just don't see any prospects for you in Vorontsov's company.
in every sense. Do you understand me? I see, do you understand? Well, after all these events, I am sure that tomorrow there will be a new CEO here. By the way, do you know Didenko? This is the former deputy, Vorontsov. Didenko. Didenko. That's even how. Well, then you're very right. Of course. I agree. Well, that's fine. Can I help you? Yes, please. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I have to talk to a man. I'll be back, okay? Well, what are the results? Nothing was found. There are no documents in the office. I think it's time to finish and wrap up. So, you should go to Vorontsov's apartment and arrange a search there. I need these documents. Do you understand me, Kronikin? And the sanctions we have only in the office of the seizure of documents, right? But not the first time, for God's sake, well. With all due respect, Igor Anatolyevich, but I have my own leadership. I can't act like this, without authorization, out of lawlessness. Excuse me, I have not received such instructions. Instructions to you, need them. There will be instructions for you. Hello, Alexander Semyonovich. Good afternoon. Yes, Vishnyakov. Yes. No, not yet. You shouldn't do that. Still, it could have been decided today. Just give the command of the page, but I'll take care of the rest. Okay, I get it. Well, did everything work out? Is it time? No, it's not time. My people searched the whole office, but they didn't find any documents. It also did not work out to agree with the management of the tax service to continue the operation. It turns out that that's all for today. It's a pity. It was a good plan. So there will be another one. Go to the office, I'll come, we'll decide what we're going to do next. Yes, yes, come on. Xenia. My god, Xenia, finally. Well, where have you been, well? I was throwing out garbage. What kind of garbage? Let's go, let's go. Can I go upstairs and wash and change? All right, but quickly. So, take her upstairs, she'll change back here. I got the command to fold up, so I'm taking people and leaving. Okay, you're free for today. Finished, we're leaving. Got it. I managed to take all the documents from the safe, and not from Xyusha. Is everything alright? You say everything is fine, but I don't think so. Soldiers, damn it. I came, what's next? My clever girl. Come on. I'm sure you won't regret it. Excellent prospects will open up for you, and you will have a wonderful career and a great future. And I'll help you with your studies, too. Consider that your diploma is already in your pocket. I'll do anything for you. Yes, I agree.
It looks like the rats have escaped from our ship. Well, where are we going? Well, let's go to the office first. Well, it's on business, for a while. Wait for me there. But then at the hotel. You have to live somewhere. But you'll stay there for now. And then we'll see. Igor, don't. Not here. Come on later. Come on. Well, I'm asking you, let's not do it here. The driver is watching. Well, let him look, my god. Well, really. What? I said no. You know me. All right, all right, I'll wait. Wait for me here, okay? I won't be long. All right. Look, it's impossible to work with you. Do you understand that you set me up? I've arranged everything. I picked up people, but there were no documents in the office. What is it? But if there were no documents in the office, then Vorontsov keeps them at home. Yes, yes, yes. So, it was necessary to go to him and organize a search there? Yes, of course, of course, of course. This is logical. Of course, that's what I thought of first. But it seemed impossible. The warrant was received only for the seizure of documents. And people did a full-fledged search like that. Do you understand what it is? And of course, they refused to go home to Vorontsov. No one needs an extra risk, of course. Then maybe we should get an official search warrant for Vorontsov's apartment? I understand that it is expensive, but we have no other options. The game is worth the candle in this case, and it needs to be done as soon as possible. Okay, I'll think about it. I have to leave for a couple of hours. I'll call you, wait. Let's do it for you. Yes, guys, they wanted to celebrate my birthday, but they get some kind of wake. Not today or tomorrow a new head of the company will be brought in, no one will prevent him from changing the constituent documents. So our story ended, and I'm nobody else. So, Petrovich. We have warmed a snake with you. That's how she is to us. Yes, the good is ours. I'm looking for the main thing. When I told Vishnikov about the golden knife, he says, No good deed goes unpunished. As if he was looking into the water. The brute. Okay, let's have a wake for our soul. Yes, 
I won't sing for it. I don't believe that she could betray. The wrong breed, you'll see, everything will be fine. Olga Pavlovna, that you are like a little girl, I believe, I do not believe, as in kindergarten, and that you and I are being betrayed for the first time in our lives. Didenko, Anya, how many years together, and this is so. Stray, I see, well, it's in vain. Lesh, calm down, she betrayed you too. Oh, do what you want with me, but I don't believe it. Olga Pavlovna, you and your friend have always been kind, but you all saw with your own eyes how she left with this bar. What else do you need? Lelechka, you never know what circumstances could have developed. Yes, but you know, for some reason all these circumstances are stacked against us. Yes, it turns out to be a sad conversation. Yes, wait, now, now. Yes, dear. Yes, my love. Of course, I did everything. I'm sorry, please, I can't talk right now. I'm at a meeting with the minister. No, we're on a break now, but they're already calling us back. Yes, we'll talk later tonight. That's it, yeah, I kiss you, everything. What are you doing? What are you doing? And you said you were divorced. Well, how am I going to get divorced? Well, what are you? Come on, me. I'm with her anyway for the sake of a career. My father is very cool, you have no idea. Yes. Oh, okay, shit. Well, wait, I'm shy. Let's get you in the shower. And I'll wait for you here. I'll get ready. I'll call you. Wait, don't come out. And now? No. And now? No. That means, like Igor. All right. It's yours somewhere. Natalia, hello. It's not Igor, it's Xenia. Ah, uh, well, how's that? Igor's common-law wife. Anyway, he and I are going to get married, and I'm expecting a baby. So he asked me to talk to you. Well, you know. Well, yes, I've just been together with him for a lot of years and now I'm pregnant. He was just afraid to tell you everything and asked me. No, he's not afraid of you, of course, your father. It's just that he's only with you because of his career. Well, you know, he's afraid. Hello. Natalia, can you hear me? Well, Ksyusha, can I already? Wait a bit, now, I'll tell you when. No, you know, he told me to talk to you after all. Actually, I've already told you everything. So maybe we'll meet with you. Don't you want to drive up? And the Moladesnea Hotel, number 702. Come on, I think we have something to discuss. Yusha, you. Bitch. Ksyashenka, where are you hiding? Natasha. Wait. You misunderstood. I'll explain everything to you. It's not what you think. 
Do I understand? Yes. Well, have you come to celebrate? Well, rejoice, and I'm a fool. Maybe you were sent to me on purpose. Maybe you've adjusted this mask show. What kind of mask shows? I'm here. Documents. Yes, what documents? Everyone, guys, meet the new head of the company. Andre, wait a minute, let her say it. What can I say? It's my birthday today. Is there any gift for me? Or will Vishnikov get all this? What an idiot you are. I thought it was you. You're a complete idiot. Here's your present. Adina Vishnikova. The second one is from me. Choke on them. I don't want to see you anymore. People, people. Our documents. All that, well, we're saved. And what are we sitting for? Well, she identified you correctly. A Cretan, right? And what is it? A Cretan, yes. What are we sitting for? Petrovich, come on, follow her. Flu. Damn, where is she? There she is, look. Save me. Somebody help me. Let me go. Someone help me. Yes, put me in my place. What are you allowing yourself? I don't want to see you. Someone, help, save, people. Put it in its place, I said, let me go. You. Let me go. <sighs> Open the door. Why are you standing there? Come on, drive. Open the door, I said. Stop the car. Who are you? What do you allow yourself? I'll sue you. You don't have any money, expensive lawyers will punish me, and you're an adult, tell me that you provoked me. The office will confirm, and you will never go to KLM again. And don't rush, don't push. In general, you have no chance. That's it. You're not dressed like a human being, that's right. Maybe a solid man, rich. Don't you have a normal suit, huh? Mother-in-law, don't grumble, or I'll send you back. Another golden burden on my head, right? 
Well, a copywriter's assistant. What will be the headlines? Another story about Cinderella. The boss married a cleaning lady. Если верить не в мочь опять 